Ball is in the air. We're underway. Cross with a basketball now in front court for Polk County. Over it goes right side to Grooms. Grooms drives into the lane. Tries to get a pass down low, and it's stolen by Garrett King. As it went off the hands of Burroughs. Farrar out front. Ledford fakes the three, drives the lane, kicks it off in the short corner to Garrett King for two. Chargers take the early lead, two to nothing. Here in Athens, Tennessee. Talked about it last game. That's, that's another open shot for Garrett. Hopefully it leads to another big night. So Milan with the basketball, kicks it out front to Burroughs. Burroughs want to drive on Ledford. Burroughs makes it down the lane, off the glass, and misses. Dodd gets the offensive rebound, kicks it out to Grooms. In the paint to Milan. Milan's shot was blocked by Cardin. In the front court it comes. Carden kicks it out. Three-pointer for Farrar. No good. And the rebound is pulled down by Jordan Ledford. He puts it up. No good. Gets his own rebound and scores. 4 nothing Chargers. In the front court with the basketball is Cross. Now Milan with it in the left corner. Pulls it out on the left wing at the free throw line, has it knocked away, chases it down, and brings it back out front. Now Burroughs with it, tries to drive baseline, gets the baseline, and scores. So Luke Burroughs with the first bucket for Polk County. He'll cut the Charger lead down to 4-2. to 6.25 to go in the first quarter. Chargers break the Polk County press. Fritz goes baseline and scores. 6-2 Chargers. In the front court, Cross with it, left wing. Cross still with it. Puts up the three. Clank. Rebound, Milan. Milan, two. First bucket of the night for Milan. Cuts the Charger lead down to two. 5.57 to go in the first quarter. A full-length no-look pass from Ledford. The King swings it over to Fritz, left side. Three-pointer for Fritz. That one's no good. Rebound pulled down by Burroughs. Into front court comes Burroughs with a basketball. 5.42 to go in the first quarter. 6-4 Central leads it. Burroughs puts up the three. Burroughs misses. Long rebound out front to Garrett King. King gives it up to Ledford, and Ledford brings it into front court. At the top of the key, down the lane goes Ledford. He's tripped. They called an offensive foul on that. This cat calls an offensive foul every time. If he calls a block tonight, I will kiss Wesley Dunkel. And I'll happily reject it. I mean, I like you, but I don't like you that much. <laughs> so, 6-4 Central with the – I mean, no kidding. They could cause a charge every time. It don't matter. So, Cross, over he goes left side to Burroughs. Three-pointer Burroughs. Air ball. Rebound pulled down by Darius Cardin. When's the last time you saw Luke Burroughs air ball a shot? About five seconds ago. Bur Cardin drives and scores. Before five seconds ago. <laughs> it's been a while. 8-4. Charges with the lead now. That's the first buck of the night for Cardin. And Cross turns it over. It's stolen by Ledford. Ledford to the other end. Over to Farrar for two. Good look there by, by Ledford finding Farrar. So second turnover of the night for Polk County. Leads to two points for the Chargers. Chargers 4-0 off turnovers. They lead it 10-4 now. 4-41 to go in the first quarter. It'll be a game of runs. Every game this year between the two squads has been a game of runs. Gary King almost stole that one. It's kicked out front. Dodds for, for three. Missed it. And now King chases down the rebound. Farrar will bring it in the front court through the center circle. Pull up for a three. Drain it. Bottom. And we have time out on the floor as Central has jumped out to a 13-4 lead on Polk County back in 30 seconds on 99.5 FM. Bend County High School. Chargers lead it 13 to 4 early here. 4.18 to go in the first quarter. Polk County basketball coming out of the John Tucker timeout. Milan with it out front. Swings it left side to Burgess. Now on the baseline to Dodd. He'll dribble it back up to the left wing out front to Burgess. Burgess, a little floater in the lane. Score. That'll cut the Charger lead down to seven with 3.51 to go in the first quarter. Quickly into front court. Farrar with it right wing. Farrar not getting it in there to King. To King. Kicks it out front to Cardin instead. Not sure what else you do to seal a guy off, but apparently that wasn't good enough. 
So now Carden with it left side. Up top, King. King looks for the cutter, not there. Now Ledford. Ledford down low to Farrar. Farrar brings it back out front to Ledford. Ledford driving in on the left wing. Kicks it off in the corner to Carden. Carden slices into the paint. Over it goes to Fritz. Back out front to Carden. They're going to reset the offense. 3.17 to go in the first quarter. Central's on top here, 13-6 in the consolation game of the District 5 AA tournament. Now Ledford out front, guarded by Milan. Going to drive on Milan, puts his body into Milan, misses the shot, ball tipped around, going to go out of bounds over to Polk County. The last couple of games, especially here in the district tournament, Darius Cardin has not really been looking for the shot. I, th I thought on the cut there he had a, a pretty good look in the lane. He just really didn't take it. Ball got in down low. To Patterson, and Patterson scores. Burrow to Patterson. Matthew Patterson's first bucket of the night. A little 4-0 run for Polk County. The Charger leads cut down to five. Carden with it left wing. Over to Farrar. Farrar backs it out. Kicks it down low. King had great position and scored. Nice pass by Farrar. Way to post up by King. Central on top now, 15-8. That's four points for King. Lob into the paint to Patterson. Patterson fakes and scores. Milan found Patterson in the paint. That's four for Patterson. Central's lead cut back down to five. Now quickly, Cade Fritz goes baseline for two. That's four for Fritz. Fritz just beat him off the dribble driving baseline there. Burroughs in front court. Burroughs fakes. Burroughs drives. Burroughs off the glass for two. Four for Luke Burroughs. Carden in front court, left side. Hands it up, no fakes the handoff, drives, kicks it out to Ledford. I thought he had a layup there, didn't take it. Now Farrar with it. Down low to King, King with position. Draws the foul and will go to the line to shoot two. Thankfully that was a different official along the baseline. That could have been a charge if it was the other guy. First foul for Dodd. Polk County's first and now Garrett King with Four first quarter points steps to the line to shoot two with 135 to go in the opening quarter. Central's on top here, 17-12. Free throw on its way is good. Boy, it, it, it teased us for a moment as it rolled around the rim and froze for a second there before it fell in. Second free throw for King. Nothing but net on that one. That's six points for Garrett in the first quarter. Central's lead back out to seven. Murphy checks in. Murphy's been battling some illness lately. Looks a little bit thinner as well. Maybe a result of that sickness. And he comes in for King. And Henderson comes in for Fritz. Pick and roll to Patterson. Henderson blocks the shot, and Murphy comes out of there with a the basketball. Into front court, Farrar. Over to Henderson. Henderson drives. Henderson pops. And it doesn't drop. Tipped around, and Burroughs comes out with it. All in all, good move there by Henderson up and under. So Burroughs drives. Pulls up in the lane. Misses the shot. Ledford with the rebound. Third rebound of the quarter for Ledford. Carden's going to rush it to the other end. Works his way baseline. Spins. Misses. And then fouls over the back as Milan gets the rebound. That'll be the first foul on Carden. First foul against, second foul against the Chargers. As there was the player control foul against Ledford earlier. So Central, 19-12 leaders. Polk County with a basketball, 54 seconds to go. Here in the first quarter of the consolation game of the District 5 AA tournament. Boys bracket. Milan steps back for a three. No good, tipped around, and Milan gets the offensive rebound. Pushes it in there to Burroughs. Now Burgess with a jump shot, bottom. That's four for Burgess, where'd he come from? Central's lead cut down to five. Fritz from the left corner, air ball. Ledford with the offensive rebound. Ledford kicks it out front to Henderson. Over to Farrar. Farrar, bottom. Henderson to Farrar for three. That's eight for Isaiah. 
And then quickly driving as Marlin scores and draws the foul. Henderson's going to pick up the foul. That's his first, team's third. And the basket cuts the Charger lead down to six with Milan at the line for one. Caleb Milan with four points, three rebounds here early. Misses the free throw, and Murphy with the rebound for the Chargers. And Henderson's half-court heave at the buzzer is no good at the end of one. It's Central 22, Polk County 16. On Personally, I think Red Bank will win that one, but what do I know? Carden with it out front. Gives it up to Farrar. Farrar between the circles. Backs it up. Gives it up to Ledford now. Ledford out beyond the three-point line. Generally not a threat there. He drives. Feeds it off to King. King's fouled by Milan. I mean, Milan's first. Team second. Should be a shooting foul, and King will go to the line to shoot two. Wildcats number 10. Caleb Milan is first. Team second. Tell you what, early on, Garrett King's done a tremendous job sealing off his post guy and, and getting the ball deep in the paint as he makes the first free throw there. But he's, he's just done a great job getting the ball and then looking to score after he gets the ball deep in the paint. So seven points for Garrett King. That extends the Charger lead to seven. Second free throw on the way for King is no good. Rebound, Matthew Patterson. Into front court comes Milan with a basketball. He pulls up from three, misses, and Ledford with the rebound. Five rebounds already for Ledford. Carden. King goes baseline. Kicks it off in the corner. Henderson out front. Ferrari for three. That one's no good. Cross with a rebound. It was a good look. Just didn't fall. Central 23-16 lead. Polk County with the ball. 7-14 to go in the half. Milan with it out front. And there's a bump from behind. That's a cheap one. Called against Jordan Ledford. That's his second. Team's fourth. So Fritz going to go get Ledford. Central going small here. Unless they're going to move Carden down to the post. They've definitely gone small. Cross gets it out front to Dodd. Dodd over to Burroughs. Burroughs, four points in the first quarter. Feeds it down low. Patterson, baseline jumper is no good. King with the rebound. Third rebound for King. Into front court, Farrar. Farrar. Out front, King. King, three-pointer. Bottom! It rolled around a bit. I couldn't call it. It was too close to call at first. So it's 26 16 Central leads. Burroughs from three. That one's no good. Almost another air ball. And Fritz with a rebound. So Burroughs three point shot off early. Into front court it goes to Carden in the corner. Carden into the paint. Kicks it out. Ferrar wide open from three. Bottom! That's 11 for Farrar, and Central's lead is ballooned to 13, and John Tucker wants another timeout. We'll take a break. 6.22 to go in the half. Central up 13 on 99.5 FM. Know the score. Welcome back to McMinn County High School. 6.22 to go in the first half. Central has jumped out to a 29-16 lead as they've scored the first seven points of the second quarter. They've actually scored, outscored Polk County 10 to 2 since Polk County cut it to 19 14 late in the first quarter. Wildcat basketball. Milan with it out front. And he has it taken away by Henderson. Henderson just took it right away from him. Drives to the other end. Misses. And, Mil and Burroughs gets the rebound. In the front court, Burroughs. And Henderson takes it away from Burroughs. And Burroughs is whistled for the foul. So back-to-back -back steals by Henderson. And then he got a foul on Burroughs, which is always big. And Central has the basketball with 5.59 to go in the half, leading by 13. And, you know, you see the offensive potential that this team's had all year. Now, where's it been? I don't know. Carden from three. Bottom. Nobody, nobody guarded him, so he just drained it. And Central's doubled up Polk County here early, 5.45 to go in the half. 32-16 Chargers. Milan in the paint. Milan has it deflected. Hands everywhere on the Charger defense. We're... That's excellent. We'll station ID here. <laughs> As you're listening to WYGO. So Milan 
Inbounds from the baseline, gets it to Burroughs. Burroughs from three. Air ball. Rebound. King. Nope. Unable to get it in. And then now going back. Oh, and then Milan traveled with it. And you were right going back to the to the defensive comment there. There's hands everywhere. We're, we're getting out on players. This is this is fun to watch. So Ferrar with it in the right corner. And it goes to King. King turns, misses. Ball knocked around, and Burroughs going to come out with the basketball. In the front court, Luke Burroughs with it. Deep on the right wing. Goes by Fritz. Goes baseline. Draws the foul. They're going to say it's on the floor, I believe. Fritz picks up his first, team's fifth. And it was on the floor, so Polk County will inbound from the baseline. Murphy getting ready to come in for Fritz. I think. No, he's coming in for King. King, 10 points, four rebounds here in the first half. And it comes, and Carden steals the inbounds. That's three turnovers for Milan. Pull up jumper Carden. That one's no good. And Milan with the rebound. In the front court, the dot in and out of his hands. Bad pass. Pass too far for Dodd to handle. So Central will get the ball back now with 4.59 to go in the half, leading 32-16. Cross checks in for Milan. Milan is averaging 26.5 points a game against the Chargers this year. Driving Henderson. Henderson stops, pops. It doesn't drop again, but he gets his own rebound and scores. Henderson just stays with it. And now Central leads it 34-16. Cross with a basketball front court for Polk County. 4.32 to go in the half. Now Dodd has it in the right corner. Hits the cutting Grooms for two. Grooms first bucket of the night. Central's lead cut to 16. It's 34-18 Chargers. 4.18 to go in the half. Ferrari with it in the right corner. Feeds it down low to Murphy, who had position. And then they say Murphy traveled with a basketball. Yeah, Murphy's just got to go up with that ball there. He just... Uh... He saw the defender coming across. Got a little happy feet there and just, just walked with it. That's all he did. So Cross will bring it up for Polk County. 4-11 now to go in the half. Central leading 34-18. Cross gives it up to Burroughs. Burroughs goes baseline, scores, and is fouled. That's six for Burroughs. Murphy picks up the foul, his first, team sixth. Burroughs six first half points to go with four rebounds. At the line for one, makes it. So Central's lead now cut to 13, a little five, a little uh, five-all run for Polk County. Into front court, King for three. That one is no good. Rebound Burroughs. Into front court, Burroughs with a basketball. Burroughs still with it. Burroughs drives. And a foul is going to be caught on Henderson. That will send Burroughs to the line to shoot one and one. That's Henderson's second, team seventh. 3.44 to go in the half. Polk County on a little 5-0 run here. Central's 18-point lead down to 13. And now Burroughs at the line for one plus. Makes the first one. That's eight for Burroughs. And Fritz checks in for Murphy. If Murphy's been sick, he's probably not going to do a lot of, a lot of minutes. And Burroughs makes them both. That's nine for Luke. And Central's lead down to 11. A 7-0 run for Polk County. Carden drives. Carden to King. Shot didn't fall, and Patterson comes out with a rebound. I think Burroughs blocked it. And we have a whistle. And Burrow's going to go back to the line. That's going to be on Card in his second. Team's eighth. Burrow's free throw on its way. He's good. Ten for Burrow's here in the first half. And it's now an 8-0 run for Polk County. Central's lead down to, down to ten as they didn't put that one on the board for some reason. So Burroughs makes them both. Should be 34-25. Unless they did they wipe that one off, Wesley? I don't think they did. 
So Farrar floater is no good. King with the offensive rebound. Ball knocked away, and I guess they're going to say that's a steal for Patterson. So Central's lead down to nine. And now Cross with it in backcourt. Should be close to a 10 count. It was a 10 count. Against Pope County. Good, good job there by Farrar, just staying in the face of Cross. Yeah, it should be 25, the scoreboard draw. And I think Mr. Quirk hadn't caught it yet. He is the official scorer, and they have it. Maybe they're going to correct it now as they looked up there, and there's still no correction. So Cardin with the basketball out front, 3.02 to go in the half. Central's lead has been whittled down to nine. Cardin works his way baseline. Cardin misses. King tips it in. That's 12 for King, and Central's lead back to 11. And King really made that play happen. He sealed off his post defender to allow Cardin to make the get, get, it the, get the shot up. Cardin didn't make it, but King was there to follow it up. Pull up jumper for Burroughs. It's no good. Long rebound out front, tipped around, and coming out with the basketball is Fritz for the Chargers. Cardin pushes it into front court. Ferrari with it in the right corner. Gets it in there to King. Double team comes. Kicked out to Cardin. Cardin into the left corner. Wide open three. Instead, Henderson fakes. Pulls up for the jumper. Shot is no good, and Burroughs comes down with a rebound. That's six boards for Burroughs in the first half. Luke drives. School, no, missed it. It came out. And King with a rebound. Cardin in front court with it for the Chargers. Cardin drives. Floater, good. Cardin went behind the back and then put up the floater. Seven for Cardin. Central's lead back to 13 at 38-25. And that's a shot that Cardin needs to, needs to take, you know. Unless they wiped a three-pointer three off and made it a two at some point, the score's that. But then Milan drains that three, no doubt about where that one was. Way downtown for Milan, he has seven. Central's lead back to 10, 38-28. Now Cardin with it out front. Three-pointer, no good, but King's there for the tip. Now that was a Fritz, that was a Fritz layup attempt that was missed. I'm sorry. I looked down for a minute. Jump shot, Burroughs on the other end's good. So now they got the scoreboard right, it's 40 to 30. And now we have a steal. Taken to waste, Burgess, Burgess misses. And Henderson gets the rebound. The other way, Fritz puts it up, misses. And the ball out of bounds is going to be a foul. So the foul is going to be on Fritz. That's his second, team ninth. And so, is that 24 or 11? That's Matthew Patterson. According to the roster I had. And he makes the free throw. And maybe, maybe the roster I had was wrong. Makes both free throws, and that cuts the Charger lead down to eight at 40 to 32. It was 18. But as, as every game this year have been full of runs, now Henderson turns it over. Burgess gets the steal. And then Burgess almost turned it over. Burroughs picks it up and drains the jumper. 15 for Burroughs. Safe to say Luke has, has found his shot again. So Central's lead down to six with 38 seconds to go in the half. In the front court to King. Out front to Fritz. And now Henderson with it. 30 seconds now to go in the half. Henderson about to lose his dribble. Picks it up, gives it up to King. Over to Fritz. Fritz, bad pass. Tried to make an entry pass from out beyond the scorer's table. So now Polk County with a chance to get it to three with 19 seconds to go in the half. Central's lead was 34 to 16. It's now 40 to 34. So Burroughs goes by Henderson, pulls up, misses. Backside rebound, Fritz. Five seconds on the clock. Up ahead to Farrar. Farrar gonna lay it in on the other end. 13 first half points for Farrar and Central's lead is eight at the half. 42-34.
over the Wildcats. We're going to take a break, come back with your first half stats. You listen to Central High School Basketball on 99.5 FM WYGO Sports. Know the score. Making communities healthier. That's the big I'm in my car a lot, and I can't remember if I've got a dial or not, to be honest with you. You just, you just say, hey, Siri. Yeah. Play this song. It's on the right side, Milan with the basketball. He dribbles up top of the key, and then drives, and then scores. Nine for Milan. That'll cut the Charger lead down to six at 42-36. Carden with it in front court. Picks up his dribble. Out front it goes to Ledford. Now right side to Farrar. Farrar. Down low to King. King goes baseline. Kicks it off. Fritz had an open three. Didn't take it. Pull up jumper for Fritz. Rattles out. Ledford with the offensive rebound and scores. Four for Ledford. Ledford had 25 down at Polk County earlier this year. So far, only four tonight. Milan pulls up from a long range three. The shot is no good. Burroughs gets the offensive rebound, works his way in, misses. Dodd with an offensive rebound, scores, and he's fouled. First bucket of the night for Dodd, and he'll go to the line for one. Fritz picks up his third, team's first foul of the half. So Central's lead at six with 7.06 to go in the third quarter, but Dodd at the line for one for the Wildcats. Free throw on its way is no good. Rebound, Farrar. Farrar's going to push it into front court. Over to Carden for two. Nine for Carden. Central's lead back to eight. That's a great fast break transition score right there. Cross picks up his dribble, kicks it out front to Burroughs. Burroughs pulls up just inside the free throw line and drains it. 17 for Burroughs. I think he's feeling it. In after the, He's feeling it now after, after a couple bad shots early. In the corner it goes to Fritz. Back out left wing Carden. He'll bring it back out front and reset the offense with 6.28 to go in the third quarter. Central on top here, 46-40. Farrar with it right wing. Gives it up to Ledford. Ledford going to work his way back. Ledford turns, and the pass goes off the hands of Burroughs out of bounds. I don't think King was ready for that one. So now Henderson enters for Fritz. Henderson gets it in the corner. Farrar for three. Bottom. 16 for Isaiah Farrar. Central's lead back out to nine. Second assist for Henderson. Milan drives, pulls up right block, fakes, misses. Rebound going to be chased down by Carden. Carden into front court. Carden pulls up, kicks it off right corner. Henderson fakes. Over it goes Ledford. Ledford thought about a three. Now puts up the three, misses the three. King with the offensive rebound. Scores and he's fouled. 16 for King and Central's lead is 11. Yeah, I was just about to say... We need to start doing a better job on the offensive glass. Because, you know, on the defensive glass, we're kind of, we're pretty much, you know, running away with it on the glass. Offensively, that was a big rebound and a big putback by Garrett. King at the line. Free throw on its way is good. 17 for King to go with eight boards. Central's lead now back to 12 with 5.45 to go in the third. Cross over to Dodd. Dodd's going to drive. Dodd pulls up as he saw Ledford gives it up now to Burroughs. Burroughs, 18-footer. Rattles out, no good. Ledford with the rebound. Ledford going to bring it into front court. Ledford dribbles over to the right side. Ledford into the paint. Off it goes to King for two. Ledford with the assist, 19 for King. Central's lead is 54 to 40 now with 5:20 to go into third quarter. Great pass there from Ledford. I mean, for, My, for a big guy, he, he sees the floor very well. Milan goes baseline off the glass for two. It's 11 for Milan. Central's lead, 12. 5.05 to go into third quarter. Carden with it, left wing. Dribbles, pulls up at the free throw line, kicks it back out front to Ledford. Farrar with it, left wing. Gets it into King. King turns, works his way in, gets his own rebound, misses, but draws the foul. We'll go to the line to shoot two. Foul's going to be on Dodd. That is his second. Polk County's first, or excuse me, team Polk County's second of the half. King's free throw is on its way and good. 20 for King. 
A 13 point lead for the Chargers. He has nine rebounds and 20 points, this King. Four of those rebounds on the offensive end, two of those this half. King makes the free throw. That's 21 for Garrett. Central's lead back up to 14 with 4.51 to go in the third quarter. Fritz checks in for the Chargers. King to the sideline to get a breather. It's been the Ferrar and King show on offense for the Chargers so far tonight. Milan's going to drive on Henderson. Gives it up to Patterson. Patterson pulls up right block, misses. Milan gets the offensive rebound and scores. 13 for Milan. Central's lead down to 12. Carden pulls up left wing. Misses. And coming down the rebound is Patterson. Into front court. Three-pointer Burrows. Misses. Milan offensive rebound. Milan misses. Patterson with an offensive board. Patterson traveled. So Central will get the ball back here. 4-12 to go in the third quarter. King back in there. Henderson to the sideline. And Darius Carden will bring it up for the Chargers in the front court left side with 4.05 to go in the third quarter. Dribble to the left corner. Go baseline. Come back out front to, to Ledford. Ledford back over to Carden. Carden into King. King works his way in the paint and turns it over. Threw it right to Josh Grooms. Grooms are going to drive in on Farrar. Miss. And then Burroughs gets the offensive rebound and scores. 19 for Burroughs, and Central's lead is cut back down to 10 again. King apparently just didn't see Grooms out there. Now Carden gets a pick from Ledford. Pick and roll was well defended that time by Milan. Now Carden's going to pull up, kick it out front to King. King gets a pick, picks up his dribble, feeds it into Ledford. Ledford fakes, goes toward the baseline, draws the foul, and will go to the line to shoot two. Milan will be whistled for the foul, I do believe. It is on Milan. Second foul for Milan, team's third. Ledford at the line for two with 3.20 to go in the third quarter. First one's on its way, and it is good. So that's five points for Cardin. Central's lead now 11. Henderson back in there for the Chargers. Cardin will get a breather. And Ledford makes both free throws. That's six for Jordan. Central's lead back to 12 with 3.19 to go in the third. Milan with a basketball out front for Boat County. He's going to drive. And, ooh, they're going to call a foul there. And they're going to say it's a shooting foul. I actually think he was looking to pass. They call it on Henderson. That's his third. Team second of the half. So now Caleb Milan steps to the free throw line to shoot two. He has six points here in the third quarter, does Milan. First trip to the free throw line, he sinks that one. Cross and Dodd back in there for Polk County. If Milan makes them both. 15 for Milan. Eight here in the third quarter. Carden up ahead to Fritz. Fritz fakes, and as it knocked away, they're gonna call a foul on Dodd. And that's gonna put Fritz to the free throw line to shoot two. That's three on Dodd. Team's fourth of the half. And now Cade Fritz at the free throw line with 3.06 to go in the third quarter. Central on top here by 10, 58-48. Free throw on its way is good. Something, something Central's done very well tonight is, is break the Polk County press. Uh, they've really had no problems breaking the press and getting the ball up the floor. Fritz misses the second one. Ledford, the offensive rebound. He's fouled. We'll go to the line to shoot two. And they fouled him hard. I think, I think it was Cross that came in there pretty hard on that one. It was. So now Ledford back to the line. He made two moments ago. They didn't call it on him, though. They called it on Patterson. Ledford makes the free throw. That's his seventh point of the night. Fifth here in the third quarter, and Central's lead back to 12. 
Ledford makes them both. Eight points for Jordan. Central leads it now 61-48. 3.03 to go in the third quarter. Milan will enter front court for Polk County. Top of the key. Down the lane. Gives it up to Patterson. Patterson has it knocked away. They're going to call a foul on Fritz. Getting a little touchy now. I guess they figured they didn't want to go home early, so. Fourth on Fritz. Team's third. So Fritz with four fouls, has four points, three rebounds. And a turnover. He'll go to the sideline. Henderson comes in for him. Milan almost threw it away, but Farrar didn't make a play on it, but then Burroughs th throws it away. Ledford gets the steal, then Ledford loses it. It was taken away by Dodd, who got it up to Milan. Milan laid it in. He has 17, 10 in the second half. And Central's leads back down to 11, 61 to 50. Carden pulls up, gives it up to Ledford, now gives it back. Ledford gets it back to Carden. Carden, bad pass. Taken away by Burroughs. Burroughs into front court, pulls up, drains the jumper. 21 for Burroughs. And Central's lead cut to nine. Into front court, it goes to Farrar. Farrar dribbles with the left elbow, now beyond the three-point line. Misses the shot. Burroughs pulls down the rebound. Central getting a little out of sorts here in the last couple of possessions. 1.57 to go in the third quarter. Central's lead down to nine. Three-pointer for Burroughs. Rattles out no good. King gets the rebound. Double-double for King. 21 points, 10 boards. Henderson works his way to the glass. Fakes. Misses. He short-armed it. Carden gets the offensive rebound. Drains the jumper. And we have timeout on the floor. Doug Armstrong calls timeout. Central leads it by 11 with 1.38 to go into third. Welcome back. Polk County basketball. Central leads it here 63-52. Grooms with it out front. And they almost turned it over. Patterson saves his bacon. And then Milan turns it over. Henderson gets the steal. In the front court, Carden off the glass, no good. And rebound is going to be off of Chargers out of bounds. As Farrar and Burroughs battle for it. So Polk County with the ball back, 110 to go in the third quarter. Central on top here, 63 52. Burroughs with it out front, at the left elbow, down the lane, pull up jumper, bottom. 23 for Burroughs, he has eight in the second half. Central's lead back down to nine. Ledford with it in the paint. Over it goes to Carden. Carden over to King. King thought about the three. Drives instead. Runner for King. Bottom. 23 for King. Central's lead 65-54. Burroughs with it in front court. 32 seconds to go in the third. 17-footer for Burroughs. No good, but he's fouled by Ledford. And he'll go to the line to shoot two. Third foul for Ledford, team's fourth of the half. And Burroughs makes the free throw. 24 for Luke. He leads all scorers. Twenty-five for Burroughs. That's his season high against the Chargers this year. Over it goes to Henderson. Henderson going to drive. Kicks it off King. King into the paint. King's runner. Bottom. 25 for King. Central's lead is 11. And then Ledford deflects the inbounds pass. So Burroughs with 25. King with 25 for the Chargers. Burroughs with 25 for the Wildcats. And Murphy's going to give King a little 11-second breather here at the end of the third quarter. And it comes to Milan. Milan enters front court with seven seconds to go in the third. Pulls up from three. Drains it. 20 for Milan. That's going to end the third quarter. Central on top, 67 to 59 here in McMinn County in the consolation game of the District 5 AA tournament. Back for Polk County. It's Charger basketball. And Ledford and King 
really tell the story. I would get it to them almost every possession. And there's a bumping foul on Burgess as they got it. As Ledford got it to King. King tried to go baseline, and Burgess picks up the foul. And you, and you see what what we're trying to do. We're trying to get it to King and Ledford. Exactly what you know what, what I just said because we have that post advantage. So Ferrar with it in the corner out front. It comes Ledford. Ledford drives. Ledford too many dribbles. Now he puts it up. They tried to travel with the basketball, and he probably did. Yeah, I, th I think he, he drugged that, that right foot, which was the pivot foot there, and, and that's what caused the walk there. So Paul County will have the basketball down eight with 7.41 to go in the game. Milan with it between the circles. Gives it up to Burroughs. Burroughs three. Missed it. Rebound pulled down by Milan. Milan misses, and Carden pulls down the rebound for the Chargers. Into front court, Carden. Carden pulls it back out to the right wing. Passes it to the cutting Henderson. Henderson turned it over, but it's going to go out of bounds off Polk County, so never mind it wasn't a turnover. It would have been a turnover. Probably should have been a turnover. Try to make a fancy Euro step pass or something there. Just don't need that. Just go, up, just go straight up with it. So Henderson gets it into Farrar. Three-pointer. That one is no good. Tipped around and rebound out front to Burroughs. Burroughs in front court. Burroughs dribbles to the baseline. Jumper, no good. Milan gets the rebound. Milan brings it out front with 6.55 to go. And there's a turnover by Milan. Stolen by Carden. Carden lays it in on the other end. Wanted to dunk it, he tried. 13 for Carden. Central's lead is 10 with 6.40 to go in the ball game. Milan, three-pointer. Rattles out, no good. Carden with another rebound. He'll push it into front court right side. Carden on the right wing to Henderson in the corner for three. That one's an air ball. Burroughs with a rebound. Burroughs into front court. And that's going to be a foul on Ledford being in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's Ledford's fourth, Chargers fifth, and now Burroughs will step to the line. No, he won't. That was on the floor. Cross and Dodd in the game for, excuse me, Cross and Patterson. In, wait, the Dodd came in. I'm sorry. I thought he was getting ready to sit down. He was doing the inbound at the wrong place. So Cross and Dodd in. Ball comes in to Milan. I thought he took steps. Milan goes baseline. Milan misses. Patterson gets the rebound, scores, and he's fouled. So that's eight for Patterson. First foul against Keene, team six of the half. That cuts the Charger lead down to eight. Make that seven as he makes the free throw. And Patterson with nine points. 6-10 to go, Central up seven with the basketball. Farrar with it in the corner. They get it to King. King works his way in. Stripped away, gives it up to Fritz. Fritz is fouled, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. The ball was stripped away from King. He chases it down on the right side of the lane, feeds it in there to Fritz, who's fouled. Dodd picks up his fourth. Team seventh. Fritz is one for two from the line. Is that right? That's right. Free throw on its way is good. Six for Fritz. And I know he does this every time, but as soon as he shoots that free throw, he steps across the line. He's got to be careful with that. I mean, I know it's late in the season, obviously, but he does it every time. Ball. But Carden gets the miss. 15 for Carden as he puts it back in. Essential leads it by 10. Carden and then Carden stole, stole the inbounds and scored again. And then up the other end, Milan misses the layup. Henderson with the rebound. Central's lead is 12 here with 5.41 to go. Carden with it right wing. Carden pulls up. Misses. Fritz fought for the rebound. He still got it. Loose ball on the floor. And they call a foul on the Chargers. And Fritz is fouled out. That's his fifth. A loose ball battling for it, and they call the foul on Fritz. Look at me. At least it wasn't a charge. That's true. 
And so Fritz, he gets 60 seconds so they can calm down and relax. And Armstrong going to get some playing time here in the Constellation game. 5.30 to go. That stops the clock as it is the seventh team foul against the Chargers. Both teams in the bonus the rest of the way. Luke Burrows with 25 points at the line. And he makes the free throw. That's 26 for Burrows. 5.30 to go in the basketball game. Central lead cut down to 11 with that free throw. Second one on its way for Burrows. Made that one. 27 for Burrows, and we have timeout on the floor. Back in 30 seconds, Central leads it by 10 with 5.30 to go in the consolation game on 99.5 FM. Know the score. If an emergency strikes, say, take you to Star, Star Regional Medical Center. Visit starregional.com to check ER wait time. Well, welcome back to McMinn County High School. 5.30 remaining in the basketball game. Chargers on top, 74-64. They'll have the basketball. They will be able to run the baseline should they need to. And they will not need to as Polk County's not going to press the inbounds. But they're coming out in a 1-2-2 zone press. And Chargers have turned it over on that press. There's a bad pass made by Darius Carden, and he picks up the foul. That is Carden's third, and that will send Milan to the free throw line to shoot one and one. Eighth team foul against the Chargers, third for Carden. And Milan makes the first free throw. So Central getting a little unglued here. Looks shaky on that press break after they'd looked pretty good all night. And Milan makes them both. That's 22 for Milan. Yeah, I think they looked shaky on that one because it, it was a little something different. It wasn't a standard Polk County press. So in it comes to Farrar. Farrar pulls up, 15-footer. Rattles out, it's no good. Rebound is pulled down by Patterson. I don't know why we're... Why we're pushing shots. So Milan over to Burroughs. Burroughs long three. Drained it. That's 30 for Burroughs and Central's lead is now five. 4.52 to go in the basketball game. Carden in front court. Carden still with it on the left wing. It's like we're thinking about what to do instead of just doing like we were doing most of the game. So Carden, they're working on clearing the lane for Carden. He's going to take Milan to the rack. Instead, it goes in the corner to Farrar. I thought that's what they were going to do. They tricked me. So now Farrar with it out front. Farrar backs it away from Milan. King gets the pick. Now gives it up to Henderson. Henderson on the baseline. Henderson into Armstrong. But Doug Armstrong calls timeout before the shot goes up. Back in 30 seconds, Chargers up five with 419 to go on 99.5 FM. Know the score. Well, in a game of runs, Polk County's on a run, and they've cut the Charger lead that was 12 just moments ago to five as they've scored seven unanswered. It's Charger basketball from the baseline. Henderson. Out front it comes to King. Over to Carton. In the corner to Henderson, back to Carton. Farrar was wide open on the right corner before the inbounds. And that's his spot. So Carden is guarded by Cross. Four minutes to go. Now he, Ledford with it. Ledford on Milan. They're going to call the foul on Milan. That's his third. Team's eighth. And Jordan Ledford will go to the line and shoot one and one. Ledford, I believe, is five of six from the line or four for four. Four for four, excuse me. Ledford four for four from the line with 3.56 to go. He's there for one and one. Both teams with eight team fouls. Free throw for Ledford's on its way. It's good. Nine points for Jordan. Central's lead is back to six at 75-69. Second free throw for Ledford. It's on its way. That one's short. Burrows with a rebound. He is comfortably in double-double territory himself, 30 points. Burroughs drives. Burroughs misses that time. But Patterson's there for the rebound and the putback. That's 11. It's a four-point lead now. 
75-71, Chargers lead. That was 12, is down to four with 3.33 to go. In the corner it is to Henderson. Get it to him. Why are we not throwing it to him? Carden, back out to Henderson. Henderson to Ledford, now back out front, Carden with 3.20 to go. We've stopped getting the ball to Garrett King, is, is what we've done. So now on the right wing, Carden with the basketball, Ledford with it now. So Ledford, I'm not sure why we quit throwing it to King. Now Ledford working on Milan. Ledford dribbles it on the right wing and almost turned it over. I'm not sure what we're doing there. I guess we're trying to run clock the whole time. And we have timeout on the floor. Polk County calls their fourth timeout. We'll take a break, 30 seconds. Chargers lead by four with 2.58 to go on the basketball game on 99.5 FM. Know the score. Ledford and King, and it comes to King. King works his way in on Patterson. Goes up, scores. You know, the 27 offense, for King. The offense is really that simple at this point in time right now. Just get it to King on the block. Now Burroughs with it, right side of the lane. He turns, scores. 32 for Burroughs. Chargers lead back down to four. 235 to go. Henderson with it. Henderson drives. Henderson misses. King offensive rebound. Scores and he's fouled. 29 for King. Central's lead back to six. 231 to go, and he's at the line for one. Free throw for King on its way is good. That's 30 for King. And Doug Armstrong calls timeout. We'll be back in 30 seconds for the three-point play for Garrett King. And the Chargers with eight team fouls. Fritz has already fouled out. Jordan Ledford's playing with four for the Chargers. Milan drives to the baseline. Gives it up to Cross in and out of Cross's hands. That's a turnover, and it'll be Charger basketball. And Hope County is going to – I thought they were going to press or trap in that, but they didn't. So now Carden comes into front court. Cross comes out on court. The count is on Carden. He gives it up over to Henderson. Henderson in the corner to Farrar, back out front to Henderson. And then hand it back off to Farrar. He'll bring it out front. Farrar. Content to run some clock. is trapped along the, base, the half line. Now Ledford is in trouble. And Ledford stepped over the, they said he stepped over the half line. He sure did. And that'll turn it over to Polk County. It's three turnovers for Ledford here in the second half. Four for the game. So now with 150 to go, Polk County has the basketball down seven. In it comes free throw line, Patterson. Patterson over to Burgess, now out front to Burroughs. Burroughs still with it. Right side to Milan. Milan into paint Burroughs. Burroughs almost traveled with it, and he turns it over, loses the basketball, King with the steal. 122 to go in the game. Central's up seven with a basketball. The winner will go play the whoever comes in second in District 6 AA in Chattanooga. And now Carden almost has it taken away by Burroughs. Henderson goes baseline. Henderson stops off the glass, misses. And re pulling down the rebound is Patterson. And he's fouled by Carter Henderson. That's Henderson's fourth, the team ninth. Ninth rebound of the night for Patterson. He's flirting with a double-double. He has 11 points. And he'll go to the line with 106 remaining to shoot one and one. He gets to walk the length of the court to do it. Central's lead is 80 to 73. Scoring in the fourth quarter a bit slower than it was in the 25 to 25 third quarter. So now Patterson at the line shooting one and one makes the first one. That's 12 for Patterson. 80 to 74 the score. Central on top here, 106 remaining in the basketball game. Free throw for Patterson is good. And that had to be a foul as, Henry, as Ledford was pushed to the floor. That's 13 for Patterson, I guess not. And Central's lead back 
down to five with 106 remaining. Dodd into the game. Patterson just got checked out. He can't come in right away. So I think Dodd got the wrong player. I think that's what happened. So in it comes to Carden. They're going to press. They're going to trap in this press. Got to get rid of it. Got to get it up court. Now there comes the Ledford in front of the scorer's table. Over to Farrar. The pass to King was there for a layup. Didn't take it. Carden drives in. Gets it out to King. In the paint. Ledford fakes. And he's fouled. And we'll go to the line to shoot two. It was a great move by, by Ledford to get uh, Patterson off his feet and then go up with it. So Burroughs just who's whistled for the foul. That's his second team's tenth. And now Jordan Ledford at the line. Five of six from the line is Ledford, nine points. And he makes that one. So 10 for Ledford. And Central's lead back to six with 51 seconds remaining. Patterson checks back in. Dodd checks out. Oh, they were just doing an offense-defense thing. And makes them both. 11 for Ledford. Central's lead back to seven with now with 49 seconds remaining as Milan enters front court. Milan gives it up. Patterson along the baseline. Patterson works his way into the paint. Patterson shoots. Patterson misses. And Ledford pulls down the rebound and comes out of the traffic with it. Gives it up then to Darius Carton. Woo, over and back almost. Farrar barely got himself in front court as he took the pass. Now Henderson dribbles into the lane. Into the right corner it goes to Ledford. Ledford to Carden. Carden off the glass for two. 19 for Carden. It's a nine point lead for the Chargers. And then Burroughs turns it over. They have a whistle. And I don't know what the call was. It was a technical foul on Burroughs. Technical foul on Burroughs. That's his third. As Burroughs picks up the technical, I don't know, did he say something to the ref? I had to. So Garrett King will go to the free throw line to shoot two. And King makes the first one. 31 points for Garrett King, a career high. I feel confident in saying that. I'm definitely a career high. And King makes them both. So 32 for King. I'd say after being shunned from the regular season all tournament, I mean all district team, I would say King will get him there. And now Ferrar is going to dribble out the clock. And your final score, Chargers 86, Polk County 75. So the Chargers will play the loser of the Tyner Howard game in Chattanooga on Saturday night. And Polk County will travel to play the winner of the Tyner Howard game that will be played tomorrow night at 730. So Polk County will travel to play the winner of Tyner and Howard. Central will travel to play the loser of Tyner and Howard in the first round Saturday night in Chattanooga. It'll be at 7 o'clock. Did I say 7.30? No, I didn't say anything. 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. So Garrett King led the Chargers with 32 points. Luke Burroughs led Polk County with 32 points.